hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i am with the another subject today that is basic electronics and communication engineering which is for the 2021 scheme students its subject code is 21 eln 14 or 24 that is in first semester uh, that is fourth subject and second semester fourth subject right if you have a backlog in this subject so fear not friends you are coming to the right platform here i will provide you some passing package for this particular subject which is considered as toughest subject as far as uh, first and second sem engineering is concerned over there so let us start with the passing module which is the module third in which you have to cover some theoretical questions which will be definitely asked in the examination part over there so first one is uh, dif uh, difference between embedded systems and general computing systems this is the first one question that is the important one next one is classification of embedded system and you should have some knowledge of core of embedded system and applications of embedded system over here as you already know there is a vast syllabus for this particular subject so there are two chapters in each module so i have taken some important questions from you can also uh, uh, cover only one part from the from each module over there but i have taken some important questions in likewise that in part wise so you have to do with that so next one is differentiate between microprocessor and microcontroller uh, and uh, differences between risc versus cisc and harvard and von neumann this is a most important question as far as video examination is concerned so this one you have to focus on much more than other two parts that is microprocessor and microcontroller next one is <clears throat> elements of embedded system and uh, uh, seven segment led display and stepper motor and uart versus usb so differentiate between uart and usb and transducers and sensors you should have a little bit knowledge over there so this much content is enough for the module third to cover uh, what we call this module which is a passing module i earlier early mentioned right then module fifth comes up which is also a passing module in which you have to cover draw the systematic diagram of a cellular telephone system and define its basic components so this is the first important question so next one is with a neat uh, explain with a neat sketch explain satellite communication right then with a neat block diagram explain optical fiber communication system next one is frequency modulated microwave communication system important one then uh, you have to write short notes like uh, write a short note on wlan and bluetooth architecture were there then types of satellite like geo leo and meo right you have to cover these topics and with a neat sketch explain gsm system architecture and types of network topologies like adnt and int so this much content is enough for the module fifth you cannot as you are the backlog students so it is definitely burden for the students to cover backlog students as regular examinations are going on so it becomes really difficult for students to cover these type of subjects as far as electronics is concerned which is most uh, what we call as i can say that it is the toughest subject as i earlier mentioned over here right then module 4 which is also a passing module so in these modules you have to fo uh, focus fully that is uh, module 3 module 5 and module 4 over there so in which module 4 you have to cover describe the blocks of the basic communication system write a neat diagram and just describe the parts blocks of the basic communication system then types of communication system most important one the next part is that is definitions with waveforms uh, waveforms are very important in this particular subject over the transmitter channel or medium and noise receiver and multiplexing these are the important definitions which you have to cover in this particular module then types of modulation with waveforms also so uh, in which you have to cover uh, pam pwm and ppm and pcm these are the most important ones so you should cover it antenna and types of antennas right then explain three different modes of propagation of electromagnetic waves with a neat diagram over there then some definitions also multipath and uh, constructive and destructive interference which is the physics uh, topic over there as it is an easier one so just have a conceptual on this particular that is constructive and destructive interference coherence time and bandwidth and delay speed so these are the passing modules in which you have to go fully uh, in this in these type of uh, modules over there then rest of the modules module first and module second which are the remaining ones so you have to cover some little bit questions i have taken five questions but you can refer only three uh, three questions from each module right so module first that is block diagram of dc power supply which is the seven marks question as far as vtu 
examination is concerned so cover this one this this is the definite question and explain working and principal components of each block right then next with a neat circuit diagram and waveforms explain uh, the working of bridge rect uh, rectifier over there is the most important one frequently asked question in the examination then characteristics of OPMP that is operational amplifier parameters and you should also know the configuration of this operational amplifier parameter over there then explain definitely among these uh, four two will come in the examination or one maybe come in the examination over there that is later network oscillator wean bridge oscillator single acetable oscillator and crystal controlled oscillator so you have to focus more on these particular questions if you want to cover those uh, three modules uh, which i discussed that passing modules and then you can cover this question only in this particular module over here that is these four oscillators you have to cover definitely one will appear in the examination then definitions uh, of open loop voltage gain input offset voltage and full power bandwidth and silver rate right then uh, module 2 comes up in which you have to cover some topics like full adder and half adder which are the most important ones and logic gates and nor gate nand gate and this one counters and asynchronous counters were there but uh, you should remember one thing here in this particular module truth tables are most important and these are compulsory with the help of truth table you should draw the full adder and half adder and logic gates in logic gates especially truth tables are most important over here so you can go through these three topics only from the module uh, second and uh, and I, I have discussed already the passing modules in this particular subject so go through it fully you have to focus on those three particular passing modules and then rest of the modules you should cover at least three questions from each module so that you will easily pass this particular subject but don't be uh, don't cover uh, that only three modules over there so it is not possible to pass the uh, these type of subjects with only three modules uh, actually with you setting papers different for those uh, particular backlog subjects over there as you already know the procedure of the VTU backlog subjects are Little bit tougher than regular subjects. So I hope this much content will definitely help you in the examination part over there So hope you will refer it and just conquer the subject with ease over there. So thanks for watching my video